Hi friends, welcome to your aerial yoga flow class. Today's flow will warm up your entire body to prepare you for further practice. I'll be taking you through the sequence four times. Let's get started. So you're gonna get started underneath your plumb line. So take a walk back in front of the hammock. You're gonna spread the feet nice and wide about mat width distance apart. Look up and see if you're underneath your plumb line or your rigging point. You're gonna bring your hands around to the back side of the hammock. Let's start to find a little bit of center here. So starting to press down through the soles of your, soles of your feet into all four corners of your feet. Start to bring some energy up through the legs, unlock the knees to so soften out through the knees, engaging the muscles around your knees to protect them. Bring the energy up through the pelvis, tucking through the pelvis, pull the belly button in as you lightly engage the glutes. And then bring that energy up through the chest, shining the chest up, proud through the heart, and let's shine those hands forward. Let's find some length through the crown of the head. As you inhale, can you grow a little taller? And as you exhale, can you send that breath down through your body? Let's take two more breaths just like that. Inhale, grow a little taller, fill up, find your center. Exhale, sending that breath down through the body. And checking into those alignment points, take a deep inhale. Setting that alignment like stone, keeping it throughout the practice. Beautiful, let's take an inhale, reach both hands up to the sky. Option to grab onto the hammock or bring the hammock, the hands to heart center. Let's take a deep squat through the legs. Again, thumbs to heart center or grabbing onto the hammock for more balance. Noticing alignment here. So pressing down through all four corners of your feet, tilting the pelvis under and then opening up through the knees. So press those knees away from each other. Super strong, heart lifted. So try not to lean forward. Keep the heart lifted over the hips as you keep tucking through the pelvis. Let's take an inhale. Let's lift up those heels. Hello, calves. And then you're gonna come into a straight leg. So inhale, straight legs. Reach the hands back up high. Option to grab the hammock or thumbs to heart center. Keep the heels lifted as you come back into your low squat, goddess squat. Beautiful, let's take three pulses here. So pulse it down and up. Three, two, one, beautiful. Extend the legs, reach it up. Keep the heels lifted. And then exhale, goddess squat, bring it on down. Beautiful, keep that pelvis tucked, knees pulling apart. We'll take three, three pulses here for three, two, one. Reach it on up. Hello thighs, and then exhale, lower it down. Three pulses, three, two, one, reach it on up. Beautiful, exhale, lower it down, bring the heels down. You're gonna lay, lay back into the fabric, so start to lean back, straightening out the legs, reaching arms overhead. Noticing that the pelvis is lifted, so lightly engage the glutes, one straight line from your feet to the crown of your head. So your inhale, prepare, grow longer through the fingers, through the sides of the body. Keep that length as you exhale, side body stretch. Take your hands over to one side, back through center, and then over to the other side. Once more on each side, back through center, inhale, exhale, open up the side of the body. Inhale, back through center, exhale, side body bend. Come back through center, grabbing onto your hammock, pulling up into standing to soften through the knees and pull all the way up, keeping the feet nice and wide. Open the arms up behind you and coming into a spinal twist. So we'll start to turn towards the right, lift up your left heel as you look back to that right hand. Tilting through the pelvis, soft and buoyancy through the knees. Come back through center, inhale. Axe out a twist in the other direction to the left. Right heel lifts the twist a little further. Bring that gaze as far to the left as you can. Come back through center once more each side. Twist it. Inhale through center. Axe out a twist. Coming back through center, you're gonna bring the hammock overhead and then all the way in front, sliding the hand grip towards each other about shoulder distance apart, gripping onto the fabric in that front hand grip and coming into a flat back. So leaning forward in that forward fold position, half lift flat back. You're gonna take an inhale here, exhale. Next, inhale, soften through the knees, rolling spine up to standing, inhale to standing. Exhale, forward fold, flat back. Press it to the front, lower the chest down. Inhale, rolling spine up. Spinal roll to standing. Exhale, forward fold, flat back. Inhale, roll it up, last one. Exhale, forward fold, flat back. I'm gonna stay here. 
So that's to sway your arms over to the left and then over to the right. So again, feeling into the side body stretch into a little bit into the hip as well this time. Once more to each side. And then coming back to center. You're gonna bring more weight into your hand grip, squeeze those elbows in towards each other and start to bend into the elbows. So you're gonna bring your knees onto the grunts and then step the feet in so they're in line with the knees. So we're in a kneeling position here with that front hand grip. You're gonna start to lean your chest forward, keep the elbows bent, so only go as far as you can keep weight into the hand grip and weight in your core. So you might only come so far. Maybe you can come into the lower back or open up through the core more. But see if you can stay active through the glutes, through the core. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the hips back up into a kneeling position, heart over hips. And then coming into a camel pose. Again, opening through the chest and not through the lower back. So you're gonna lift up long through the spine, press shoulders away from the ears and towards each other. As you open through the chest, bring more weight to the hand grip. As you press the heart open, leaning back just a little bit. Come back to center, chin into the chest, moving slowly. You're gonna step your right foot forward. Start to lean the hips forward, reaching the hands overhead for a low lunge. Take an inhale here. Can you bring the heart over the hips a little bit more? Squeeze through the glutes a little bit. Take an inhale, prepare. And exhale, half split. Start to pull the hips back, lifting up the right toe, squeezing inner thighs together for balance, hugging the right hip bone in as you flex through those right toes. Maybe the right knee stays bent, maybe it straightens out and you lean the chest a little bit lower on each exhale. Beautiful, and let's come into a high lunge now. So we plant that right foot into the ground, bending at the knee, lifting up your left foot. So your right knee is over your ankle. You're tucking through the pelvis still. The hands are still reaching in front, coming into almost like a lightning lunge. So you're gonna lean that chest over the knee. It's gonna have a lot of weight in that front leg. We wanna feel a little bit more burn there. You're gonna start to widen the hands apart, come into aeroplane arc. So widen the hands apart, keeping them on the hammock and then bringing the shoulders around and behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades in together, palms face down, pinky fingers attractioning towards each other. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, bring the hammock back in front. The hand grip comes back in front, feeling the shoulders open up and stretch. And then bring the hand grip behind you, aeroplane arms. That's it. Lightning lunge, bring the hands in front. And bring the hands behind. Once more, bring it to the front. Beautiful, bring it behind. Staying here, you're gonna launch onto your back foot. So start to weigh a little bit more into the right knee. And then launching back onto your back foot. Those elbows need to lift so they don't get caught in the hammock. Coming into one leg Tadasana, using the hammock to wrap around the ribs so you can stay tall through the spine and find a little bit of balance here. Let's stretch out that right leg, flexing the toes, lift, lift, lift. You might be down here, that's okay. If you're like quad activate, lift, lift, lift as high as you can. That's it. Coming to warrior three, you can bend at the knee or you can keep the legs straight as you transition that leg behind you pointing the toes to the ground and wrapping the hammock around the front of the shoulders as you release the hands to the front. Option here, the hands can come to heart center, pointing those right toes to the ground, squaring out the hips, pulling in the belly button. We're here for three, two, one. Bring that right foot to the left. So coming into a curtsy squat, buoyancy in both knees, aeroplane the arms behind you. Beautiful, squeeze the pinky fingers towards each other, squeezing through the upper body, through the shoulders, tucking in the pelvis. And then you're coming into wide legs again. So reaching your hands up, bringing feet to mat with distance apart, reaching hands up high. Exhale, got a squat, thumbs to heart center or onto the hammock. Beautiful, you're gonna lift up the heels here. Take three pulses, three, two, one, reach it on up, keep the heels lifted. Exhale, got a squat, lower it down. Three, two, one, reach it on up. Exhale, lower it down. Pulse it out for three, two, one, reach it up. Exhale, lower it down. Pulse it out, three, two, 
one lower down the heels reach it back leaning to the hammock reach hands behind you inhale for length exhale side body stretch open up the right side of the body inhale through center take the hands over to the right inhale through center once more over to the left back through center and over to the right back through center gripping onto the hammock pulling up to standing widen the hands behind you coming through for the spinal twist inhale for length exhale keep that length and twist it round to the right inhale through center twist it to the left inhale through center exhale twist it to the right last one inhale through center exhale twist it to the left back through center stay here bring the hammock overhead and in front of you coming into that forward fold flat back hands slide towards each other shoulder distance apart soft through the knees as you inhale roll the spine up to standing exhale forward fold inhale spinal roll up exhale forward fold one more time spinal roll up inhale exhale forward fold stay here coming to side body sway so bring the hands over to the left through center and over to the right once more each side over to the left and then over to the right coming back through center beautiful bending at the elbows squeeze those elbows towards each other bring more weight into the hand grip as you lower the knees to the ground step both feet in so they're in line with the knees lifting heart over hips in your kneeling position start to send the chest and hips to the front keep lots of weight in the hand grip and keep the core active and come back to center coming into your camel so bowing in the other direction chin away from the chest look up weight in the hand grip as you press and lift the heart squeeze shoulder, shoulder blades away from the ears come back through center stepping your left foot forward low lunge sink the hips forward as you reach the arms forward take an inhale here as you exhale half splits pull the hips back lift up your left toes as you hug the left hip bone in towards you flexing through those left toes leaning the chest forward a little bit more in each exhale coming into your lightning lunge so land and re-bend into that left leg tuck the right toes and lift the right knee leaning over that left knee take an inhale here as you exhale start to spread the hammock wider hands wider coming to airplane grip behind you so squeezing shoulder blades in towards each other palms face down inhale reach the hammock in front again lightning lunge exhale bring it back behind you opening up through the shoulders finding tension between the hands as you reach that hammock to the front and to the back let's take one more reach it to the front pull that core in exhale reach it to the back stay here you're going to launch onto your right foot your back foot so take a bounce into your left knee elbows are going to stay lifted so you're bouncing into that one like tadasana hands wrap the hammock around your rib cage let's start to flex those left toes reach those toes to the front of the space press the heel forward pulling in the pulling in the core lifting up the toes as high as you can you're here for three two lift 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 one and then warrior three so you're gonna bend the knee or keep it straight and send that left foot behind you wrapping the hammock around the front of the shoulders as you reach the hands forward option here to bring the hands to heart center as well checking into the alignment into that left foot imagine your foot can you point it to the ground point those toes to the ground lift the left foot a little bit higher that's it coming into your curtsy so left foot will come over to the right step it over to the right off the mat aeroplane the arms behind you for oh my goddess curtsy squat take a little buoyancy through the knees here that's it and you're coming into your mat with distance feet so reach it on up unwind inhale for length and then exhale sink it down got a squat lift up the heels take three pulses here for three two one reach it on up exhale lower down no i haven't forgot those pulses we're going to stay low here lifting up the heels we're going to pulse it out for 10 so stick it low and up pulse it down for five uh 10 9 8 7 6 5 go a little lower 4 3 two one keep the heels lifted reach it on up exhale lower down got a squat keep the heels lifted that's it press those knees away tuck the pelvis we're here for ten nine eight seven six go a little lower five four three two one reach it on up 
Keep the heels lifted and then exhale, go to squat. Lower down, lower the heels into the ground and reach it on back. Send the shoulders back, reach up nice and tall through the hands. And then exhale, side body stretch to the left. Back through center and over to the right. Once more, send it to the left. And then over to the right. Coming back to center, grouping onto the hammock, pulling up to standing. Widen the hands behind you, spinal twist. Take an inhale, prepare. Exhale, twist it around to the right. Inhale through center, twist it to the left. Once more, twist it through center and around to the right. Back through center and over to the left. Coming back through center, stay here. Inhale to reach the hammock overhead. Grow tall, exhale, keep that length forward, fold, flat back, slide the hands together, soften through the knees. Inhale, spinal roll up to standing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll it up, last one. Exhale, forward fold, stay here. Side, side body sway, send the hands over to the left and then over to the right. Over to the left and then back over to the right. Coming back to center. You're gonna bring your knees onto the ground, bend through the elbows, lower those knees into kneeling. The heels are in line with the knees. Take an inhale, find some length here through the spine. Keep that length, send the shoulders forward, the hips come forward, but keep active through the core like you're in a plank pose. And come back through center. Camel pose, gripping onto the hammock, lifting gaze, lifting chin, arcing through the top of the back, open through the chest. Come back through center. Your left foot's gonna step forward. Coming into a lunge, press the hips forward, inhale. Exhale, half splits, draw the hips back, lift those left toes. Inhale, re-bend into your left knee, lightning lunge, lift the right knee. Exhale, airplane the arms behind you, widening the grip. Inhale, reach it to the front, lightning lunge. Exhale, airplane the arms behind you. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale, reach it back. Once more, reach it to the front. Reach it to the back, stay here. Take an inhale, launching onto your right foot. Inhale, hold it. Tadasana, wrapping the hammock around your rib cage. Left knee is lifted. Start to press your left heel away. Lift up those left toes as high as you can. Lift, lift, lift. We're here for three. Lift, lift, lift. Two, one. Bring the left foot behind you for warrior three. Lifting those left toes behind you, reaching the hammock around the front shoulders as you reach the hands forward or the thumbs heart, thumbs at heart center. Beautiful. Take an inhale, prepare. As you exhale, oh my goddess, Kirsty, you're gonna send those left toes to the right, airplane the arms. So buoyancy through the knees. Beautiful. And then unwind, come to standing. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Stay in standing. Then bring one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, close down the eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Let me know in the comments, are you using this class to practice from home or are you a teacher looking for sequencing inspiration? I would love to get to know you a little better. If you enjoyed this class, tap the thumbs up icon, subscribe and tap the notification bell to stay in the loop. And I will see you in the next class. If you're all warmed up and ready to take on an intermediate to advanced pose, I recommend checking out my cross back tutorial over here. Or if you prefer a more beginner friendly pose tutorial class, I recommend checking out my tree trick pose tutorial over here. Enjoy.